Hi everyone. Welcome back to another installment of Eyes Closed But Follow My Instructions. Yes, 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 yes. You read the title right. It is time for another episode of everyone's favorite thing. Thank you so much for joining and clicking on the video. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what your favorite instruction is so I know what to bring back, of course, for the next episode. And I hope you fall asleep. So let's get into it. I think we're all pretty f familiar with what's uh, going on here, right? Hopefully. So, of course, the first instruction, like always, is to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close, 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 close. Close, 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 close. Your eyes. I'll know if you don't close your eyes. Keep them closed throughout the duration of the video. And the second instruction, we're going to start with some breathing exercises this time. And this breathing exercise is a little different. We are going to inhale for four counts. Hold for four counts, exhale for four counts, and then rest for four counts. Somebody let me know that I needed to add a rest period in there. So we have four steps and then we'll be repeating, okay? And I'll walk you through it the first few breaths, like always. Ready? All right. Very good. Now that one's easy. I have a few harder ones on here, of course. The next one, I want you without opening your eyes. Come on, guys, don't lose on the third instruction without opening your eyes. I want you to tell me about three things in your room currently, wherever you are. Without opening your eyes, tell me about item number one that is currently in your room. Okay. And where it is, too. Right. Okay, very good. And item Yeah. Okay. 
okay? And contains a multivitamin, a multi, multi, multivitamin, multivitamin. And these are by a brand called Ritual. A multivitamin and dietary supplement. And then I also have a Metamucil. going to tap, shake, do things with these three bottles, and I want you to take a guess at which bottle is which. Okay? So, bottle number one.
your guess for bottle number one. If you guess, incorrect. The first bottle was the bottle of multivitamins. And I apologize, I can't tap on things very well tonight because I clipped my nails because I have 28 fire ant bites on my ankles and I'm trying not to scratch them. But anyway, so I can't tap things as well. Okay, guess number two. you guessed vitamin B as gas number two. You would be correct. The second bottle was the vitamin B bottle. And that leaves second word I have for you is liaison, meaning a connection between individuals or something like that. both of those wrong, you still have two more chances, so don't worry. The third word is necessary. How would we spell necessary? Necessary, necessary, necessary. Correct spelling of necessary is N E C E S S A R Y. Did we get that? Well, if you got that, this fourth word. 
might give you a run for your money. Can you spell for me? Narcissistic. Narcissistic. Many celebrities seem narcissistic. This one's harder or longer. So I'll give you a little bit more time to figure it out. Okay, now are you ready? The correct spelling of narcissistic is in a R C. Narcissistic. Our next instruction is how many times do you hear me snip? Either one of the scissors. We have thinning shears and we have regular haircut scissors and they're both very quiet so you'll have to really listen and remember start counting after I say start ready How many did you get? I got 36, but I think I might have missed one, so anywhere from 34 to 38. You, you did it right. We'll, we'll count that as a pass. And let me know how you like the new scissors video should be coming in the next few months. Okay, next instruction. We're gonna play a rhyming game. I'm going to say a word and I want you to think of a word that rhymes with that word, okay? Very simple. All right. Word number one. Very easy, very easy. Wall. W-A-L-L. -L, wall. The Great Wall of China. What rhyme? I wrote down ball. Number two. What rhymes with paint? P A I N T. Paint. 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 I wrote down. 
That was another easy one, right? Now we have brush, another not so hard one, brush. B R U S H. What rhyme? On to the next page. Well, next, we have one that everyone loves. It's time for some word tracing on the microphone. So, if you are new here for our word tracing, I am going to trace a word on the microphone using my brush. I'm going to trace three possible words on the microphone, and I want you to tell me which word I am actually tracing. So possibility number one is bottle. B-O-T-T-L-E. Possibility number two Possibility number three. Throat. T H R O A T. Throat. So, which one is this? Which word was that? If you guessed bottle or throat, you would be incorrect. The correct word was throttle. Now you've got one more shot, okay? The possible words this time. word am I tracing? Which word was that? If you guessed paper, you would be correct. So hopefully you got them, but you'll have another chance later on in the video.
going to be doing some super easy, super simple math problems, okay? So I just want you to tell me the answer. First we have 17 minus 8. 17 minus 8. 17 minus 8. Yes, that is 9. Very good. Next, 41 plus 62. 41 plus 62. What do we think? The correct answer, I believe, is 1. Now this one seems intimidating, but hopefully you know the trick. We have 13 times 20. 13 times 20. times 2 is 26. And if you add a 0, do 60. Now, we are almost a third of the way through. If I end up doing all 30, that is. I have 30 planned, so we'll see. Number 10. Now, hopefully this goes over. I have this very precarious Coke bottle full of water. No, don't look. Don't look. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. I have this Coke bottle full of water. And I also have going to pour water into this garlic jar and I want you to pray that I don't get water everywhere, number one but I also want you to guess and count how many seconds does it take for me to pour the water in it also smells like As soon as you hear the water, start counting, okay? Okay, that was very quiet. How many seconds was that? I think if you're around six, you should be right. <laughs> that was very quiet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on to the next instruction. I'm going to put the lid on the scarlet jar. Okay. Our next instruction is I just want you to answer a couple of questions for me. Okay. I want you to tell me Okay, I 
know in a few months that might change, right? <laughs> okay. Next, I want you to tell me the current season. What season is it currently? I want you to tell me when was the last time it rained wherever you are. That can be today, now, yesterday, a week ago. You don't remember two months ago. Never. Okay. Good. It's not, it's not never, I hope. Okay. Thank you. Alright, next instruction. I have some new props, new props, new props. Da 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 da. New props. I have these little face scrubbers. And with your eyes closed, I want you to look towards the noise. Okay, look towards the noise. Wherever the noise is, I want your eyes. instruction is something that I came up with in the last episode and I didn't see anybody saying that they hated it so I decided to bring it back because I thought it was very interesting and fun and helpful is our bodies do this cool thing where we know where our body and different body parts are relative to ourselves, so we can kind of know where our hands are, even if we can't see them, we can, you know, we know our hand is sort of by our side, or we know our feet are under us, so I want you to focus on different body parts for me, okay, whether you just Imagine that part, uh, feel that where that part is in space, or if you need to picture a ball of energy moving across your body from one part to another, that is fine as well. Okay, so your first body part, remember our eyes are closed and we are feeling Right 
so again let me know if you hate that one or if you like it okay I think it's pretty cool now on to our next instruction I have some different noises and I want you to rank them for me okay I want to know how you feel about these noises the first noise is going to be And then after we hear the other two, I'll have you rank in order one to three, which ones you liked more, okay? sure you've heard this before. I want you to ring. you can go ahead and rank those based on which one you like the best okay so which one would be number three the worst one okay and number two okay and instruction. We're on number 15. What is something you can make with these items? And I've gone back to food, so we're not doing crafts anymore. So food item number one, what is something you can make with this? Ready? Chicken broth. Chicken broth. Chicken broth. What is something you can make with chicken broth? soup is what I put but there's a lot of things you can do with chicken broth you can even make chicken with chicken broth anyway, item number two I put chocolate cake 
you can make delicious chocolate cake with espresso powder. You could also just say coffee. That's what it's for, I think. But if you haven't tried it, try putting a little bit of espresso powder in your chocolate cake. It won't make it taste like coffee, I promise, unless you put a lot in there, probably. But next, this one will be easy if you cook a lot. Can you make with white wine? White wine, white wine. I put vodka sauce, which I guess isn't, you know, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but hear me out whenever go and visit family and I want to make this pasta sauce, they usually don't have um, a bottle of vodka just laying around because we don't drink a whole lot in my family. So I'll just get a little bit of boxed white wine and substitute that in. So a lot of sauces you use white wine in, you can use it to deglaze things, put it in soups, it's very versatile. It's kind of looks like a more sophisticated chicken broth. So, cooking tip. White wine is very useful, if you didn't know. Alright, next. I want you to tell me which one of these noises sounds the closest to you. Noise number one. noise number So which noise was the closest? The third noise, right? I think that was pretty easy. That was a soup can, FYI. And that leads us into the next instruction, because I have not only one soup can, different kinds 
of soups. I love the word soup. Soup, 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 soup. And I'm going to read the name of the soup. And I want you to guess the ingredients in the soup, okay? So I'm going to read the name and guess the ingredients. So this right here is a should get Two hundred and twenty calories per container with ten percent of your daily excuse me, potassium needs. The next instruction I have for you is I want you to guess the triggers and I'll give you a hint. Okay. I have three triggers. And all of them are used when you are packing boxes, okay? Packing boxes is the end, okay? Right. Trigger number one.
one was bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. From an Amazon package. Trigger number two. Now I have some adjectives and I want you to think of someone you know that fits each of the adjectives. Okay. Number one, we have old, 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 old. old. Number two. We have immature, 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 immature. And six, we have caring, 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 caring. Good. Next instruction. Okay. You guys, you know I said if you didn't get the word tracing, you'd have a chance to redeem yourself. Now is your time. Because we are doing word tracing again. But we are doing it. Sing words. What word is this?
What word was that? What word is this? Next, I'm going to say a word, and I want you to tell me the first word that pops into your head. And this can either be an adjective that reminds you of this word, or it can be the second half of one big word. Like, if I were to say air, you can say cloud or plane as an airplane. Okay, okay, okay. Word number one. I just want you to tell me which ear the scrubber is in. Okay. Ready? Good. Good. instruction game. Two truths and a lie. I'll tell three facts. Two of them will be the truth, one of them will be a lie, and I want you to tell me which one is the lie, okay? But, surprise, surprise, we're not diving into the animal book today. We are diving in. up to 
a page. Let me find some good facts for us. So which one was the lie? It was the first fact. Octavian was Julius Caesar's great nephew. Not just his nephew. bringing out this beautiful thing. I'm going to play two notes and all I want you to do is tell me if the second note is higher or lower than the first note. Lower. Good. Lower. Good. Lower. and higher. Very good. I love that thing. So pretty. Okay, on to the final page. I 
instruction 25. I'm going to say 12, 12 words and I want you to remember the fourth and the seventh word. Fourth and seventh, okay. Ready? fourth and seventh. Did you get it? Okay, well just in case you didn't, here it is one more time. Fourth and seventh. The fourth word was crack, and the seventh was stone. All right, I think we have time for maybe the rest of these, actually. Okay. Instruction 26. If I whisper on your right, which should be this side, and if I whisper, if I whisper on your right, add one in your head, and if I whisper on your left, which I'm hoping is this side, I want you to whisk to add two. So right, one. six. <laughs> One more time, okay? Ready? Brush. Scrub. Bubble. Pillow. Okay. And that should have been nine. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. I think we're gonna do maybe one more here. Alright. One more. Let's see. I want you to guess what sentence I am writing in the notebook, okay? So, your options are I am ready for winter. Option two, historical events are stressful. And option three, soup is easy to cook. Ready? So what sentence was that? If you guessed soup is easy to cook, you would be incorrect. 
if you guessed historical events are stressful, you would be correct. That was what I was writing. Specifically, living through historical events, am I right? It's very stressful. Okay. And I believe that is going to be our last instruction for this evening. And I apologize because if you're listening, I couldn't make you fall asleep before the end of the video, but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. Thanks for clicking on the channel and giving it a watch. I really appreciate it. And I hope sleep comes to you very, very soon. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed, there are five other episodes of this out there, so maybe one of those can get you to fall asleep. Alright, have a great night.